Welcome to Moscow. So we flew in yesterday from Sochi and it got dark quite quick. So we left it till the next day, but we're out. And we're here for a week with my brother and sister. <laughs> so the weather today seems to have warmed up a little bit from yesterday. It was minus 15 yesterday and today's a toasty minus 10. <laughs> and we're actually off to the biggest ice rink in Europe. Let's go have a look. So we're hot stepping it to the metro to head across town to a place called Verdienka or the All Russian Exhibition Center. to fall. No <laughs> <laughs> This is their first time on the ice ring by the way. <laughs> and they're already better than us. <laughs> I actually forgot that oh. when we, we said the last time we ice skated was like eight years ago, it wasn't was it? No, it was on Baikal last Baikal. year. And we're still oh. shit. <laughs> 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 Smooth. Oh, not so much for me. There's always that moment when you get overconfident and end up smacking into a wall. So Denka is a massive park on the edge of Moscow and it's famous for its different pavilions that are here and it's got a pavilion for every ex-Soviet Republic and we're coming up to the, I think, the Ukrainian pavilion at the moment and it is incredibly beautiful. Take a look. incredibly pretty here apparently everything lits up at night well not apparently I've actually seen the pictures and you can stop over to have a drink and bite to eat everywhere sort of on the way right behind you there yeah. you were looking for one yeah. <laughs> So I just literally wanted to say that we're an hour in and no one's fallen over yet. But we just had our first casualty. <laughs> Not bad. Huh? I'm okay. I'm fine. It's so good. We just got out and it seems like it really cooled down, so we're all a bit chilly. We're gonna head back into the centre, hopefully it's a bit warmer there. Good morning. It wasn't any warmer in the centre yesterday, so we went back home and curled up on the sofa and ended up watching films all evening. Uh, let's show you around our apartment. Uh, this is the corridor. We've got our rubbish there. This is the bathroom. It's an incredible apartment. I love it. It's so cozy. It feels like home here. 
Lounge. We even have a balcony. This is the kitchen. And there's our bedroom. Look, and there is a built-in closet. We use it as a changing room. <laughs> Today is 31st of December and again to celebrate tonight we need to go to shop now to get some last bits before everything gets sold out and gonna get ready for our live stream that we're doing later yeah let's go Right, we're climbing up Moscow's most disappointing viewpoint. Prepare for the worst. Hope you're all ready for this. Wow. It's actually not too bad. I can see something. What'd you give it out of 10? Five? You turned into a mute now, you can't speak. <laughs> What would you give it? Um, I mean, it depends. At the moment, I would say it's a six because you've got the ice rink and the tree. Normally, it's a four. So since getting home, we haven't actually moved much from this position. <laughs> but the time now is 10 past five and we're actually just off out to do our first ever live stream. Quite nervous to be honest, because we've never done one before. It's our first, so we've never done one before. <laughs> and we don't really know how it's gonna work. We don't know how it's gonna go. I've sort of done a lot of reading as to how a live stream works, but we're trying to stream, stream on one phone, send internet from the other, hopefully read the comments from the same phone, but we're not really sure. So by the time you see this video, we'll have well and truly done the live stream, so you'll know how it's gone. <laughs> and you'll either be sitting there thinking, yeah, it was crap, or it was all right. Hopefully it's the second one of the two, <laughs> but let's see. We just finished our first live stream ever, and we're just trying to find a place where to get a hot drink, because we all got a bit chilly. Hello, hopefully the live stream went well, you can let us know. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it didn't scare anyone. <laughs> one one right, we just warmed up, had some coffee. Now we're gonna get a metro bag because we end up walking quite far and we need to do a lot of preparation still, so. So, as we were buying tickets for the metro, the girl that was standing right there told us that the tickets we need no tickets, the entrance is free for New Year's Eve. So I guess we're selling the tickets. <laughs> we got the tickets in advance. As if to top off the New Year's atmosphere, the snow started falling. How lucky are we? 
<laughs> isn't it wonderful? Isn't it wonderful? Not so much in your face. <laughs> isn't, isn't it wonderful? <laughs> Right, we've just got home and the time is quarter to nine, so we've got three hours to midnight and we've got a load of food that's already ready in the fridge, but we've got a few more bits that we need to cook. So Julia started straight away. That was an awful spin of the camera. <laughs> and then we've got a bit more going on here. Some cookies, some tomatoes. Nira's cutting up the sausages. And Andrea's waiting. So the table's ready. We have we bought some salads from supermarkets. We have just made some potatoes, roast potatoes with some chicken, um, sandwiches without the topping, the top part, the bread on top, and we have the Hollandaise meat jelly, meat jelly, and we have some open sandwiches. This one with I have no idea what it is. Like a salmon paste, isn't it? It is. Yeah, and there is some with um, cream cheese and we pickled some salmon that was on the deal. That's it. Um. <laughs> about the day after New Year's Eve is having all the leftovers. We just had a lovely breakfast and we're gonna go out for a walk. I love that you said about all the leftovers and you showed a bottle of water. <laughs> That's all we've got it's left. Um, no, we just ate, it's all in the fridge. So we're on the way to Red Square, which is actually reopened now after being shut last night. And it's noticeably warmer today, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's like minus one when we checked on the phone, but it feels a lot warmer than yesterday. Mm. Everything is melting even more. Yeah, it's, it's a lot so easier much. to walk on the pavement, isn't it? Yeah, it's not, not as, as slippery. Icy. that the city was incredibly empty we thought good very good and i don't know if you can see the amount of people that are over there and i'm really sorry there is no chance we're gonna go there <laughs> that is terrible it is a melee <laughs> i don't think i've ever seen that many people at I mean, the same time in one place outside as well it looks like people going up to like a football stadium or something doesn't it like when you just this melee of people trying to get through the gates. Maybe they're all going to Mausoleum. <laughs> oh, maybe. 
Maybe that's the cue to see Lenin. <laughs> So welcome to Virabyovy Gori, which is one of the open spaces here in Moscow. Fun fact about Moscow is it's actually one of the greenest cities on earth and there's over 40% of the city is covered by green spaces. So Muscovites have got a good choice when it comes to where to go, relax, have a picnic in the summer, or just cool off. <laughs> cool off in the winter? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Here, behind the viewpoint, we have this fabulous building and it was actually built during late 40s, during Stalin's time and it's one of seven, so there are like seven sisters. An interesting fact, this building now is one of the most like, expensive universities in Moscow and some of these buildings were exported to different countries, like Warsaw for example. You can see three of other seven sisters from here. So there is one, here is another one, and there is another one. Do you reckon this one is another one or not? Really far away? Yeah. Yeah, that's a fourth one, yeah? Fourth. So we can so see from five. Here we can see five. And for those of you that don't know, the stadium behind us, the Luzhniki, is the stadium where the 2018 World Cup final was held. The view was good, we're going to head back to the centre to one of my least favourite places in the world. <laughs> we actually spotted it from there, didn't we? Yep. And it's good that we haven't uh, shown it to our brother and sister. This is the most unpopular statue in Moscow and possibly in the world. When it was built, complaints were coming from all over the city. People didn't like it at all. I can see why. My sister doesn't think it's that bad. But I can totally see why. This is the statue of uh, Peter the Great, by the way. And just look at the size of Peter, okay? What is... He is the same size as the boat. <laughs> He's a big guy. The biggest statue in the world 
one of the biggest statues in the world, right? Yeah. He is like the same size as the boat. <laughs> I mean, maybe he, he was either he was either massive or the boat is just really small. He maybe was maybe he's just in a local pond somewhere in Moscow. Oh yeah, by the way, Peter. Uh, apparently, he was really tall, but he had freakishly small feet. Oh yeah. We don't know what they say about small feet. Small socks. And small boat, clearly. <laughs> Right, there's also a lovely view over the Kremlin on the other side, but we're not going to stop for long enough to stare at it. It is absolutely freezing today, so we're making a run for somewhere warm. What the fuck is that? I'm sorry. <laughs> I was talking shit about my beautiful pizza. What the fuck is this? <laughs> okay, I need to find it. I want to know. Um, yeah. The thing is, it's so fucking weird, you can't even make a joke about it and say it looks like something. But I'm scared to say something because it may represent something, you know. Possibly, really poignant. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> uh, this is a sculpture. Sculpture, who? Oh, sculpture. Of or to clay. A fucking clay. <laughs> And it just looks like a piece of shit now. And they said it was gifted by the Swedish, yeah? What? <laughs> why, why, why do you hate Russia? <laughs> Swedish people, why? We were just saying that. I think someone obviously made that statue. There were so many complaints that they obviously put an alert out to sculptures around the world to say, think of something more shit than that. <laughs> <laughs> and there's obviously the Swedish guy came along and he's like, Hold my beer, guys. <laughs> We've got something for nah, you. Uh, 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 watch me. An actual piece of shit. <laughs> then I'm gonna say it's clay. So we got back a little while ago and Julia just made dinner and it's something we had last year when we were in St. Petersburg, which is macaroni pavlotsky. So it's canned beef with potatoes, fried onions, no potatoes, with fried it's onions pasta. and carrots and pasta. And it's bloody good. And we put a load of hot sauce in there as well, mm. didn't we? Just because yeah. we love the hot sauce. <laughs> because we have it. <laughs> bon appetit. Good morning. So last night we ended up working all evening and today is actually our last day. We're leaving this evening. Our train at like nearly 10 in the evening and we have to get out pretty soon. So we're just making breakfast. So we've been cooking pretty much majority of the time here in Moscow. And just wanted to say that yesterday you might have seen like <clears throat> lots of bags on the table. We ordered a lot of food to take with us on the train last night because it was a lot cheaper to order it rather than like go in the shop and get everything. And the cleaner here is really nice. So she um, she was fine with us leaving our bags here all day. And she said we can like pick it up before we uh, have to leave. And uh, I wanted to say that the second day us being here we decided to order a lot of food so uh, because big supermarkets are quite far so it would be quite heavy for us to carry everything and uh, we had that food deliveries are pretty good here so we ordered everything and it's supposed to have come from one in the afternoon to two and it's ended up coming at like what half past four yeah easily yeah, yeah. we wanted to go out like for a walk and filming we ended up waiting nearly the whole day for this bloody delivery and yesterday we ordered the food in the evening and we weren't in a rush, we were like, we're staying at home working anyway. They delivered everything in like half an hour. <laughs> it was crazy, we're like, that is amazing, but at the same time, it's like, <laughs> why today? <laughs> so you're just making breakfast and uh, we're gonna eat and uh, get ready to go. Okay, so we're back out. Julia and Lira are just feeding the pigeons and the time is 12.04. Our train's at 9.40 tonight, <laughs> so we've got a little while to walk around Moscow before we can head to the station. There's a couple more things we still want to see, so let's go and finish it off today.
We are on Arbat Street at the moment, which is the main walking street here in Moscow. It's full of lots of different shops, cafes, souvenirs and beautiful Christmas lights. Need to rub the foot. Oh, no. It's good luck. Sure. So we're going to head on to Red Square for the last time. We're going to brave the crowds <laughs> just to say goodbye. Better, but I think it's even worse. Uh huh. Yeah, I think so too. We were sure it was going to be better today compared to the first, but no way. <laughs> Let's just stick to the side. Found a shortcut. It's the lady drain dwellers. So this whole time I've been holding the camera up to show you Red Square, but this is our view being our height. <laughs> Don't run away. <laughs> so Moscow is the biggest city entirely in Europe with a population of about 20 million living in and around the city officially and to be honest it feels like every one of the 20 million people are here on Red Square at the moment it literally cannot breathe freedom yeah okay not so much <laughs> okay we're out of the melee it's the main one <laughs> and we're on our way to the station we're actually off to rostov now and our week in moscow is finishing it's gone really fast so fast so so fast i can't believe it really thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one